Hello, hello everybody, it's me, Blue Wolf Mike, and welcome to the very first episode of TTB, or Theme Team Builders, on PokemonShowdown.com. Now this is going to be a series where I'm going to build Pokemon teams themed around certain themes. And as you can see up here, the first theme is Kaiju, considering I just got done watching um, Pacific Rim. Now I'm going to turn this music down just to pinch for myself. As you can see, I got this copyright free music from Orange Juice Games. Feel free to check them out. I'm just using uh, their video here in the background to, um, yeah, to help myself focus. So, <laughs> go feel, feel free to check them out, listen to their music. I've only just now listened to this song and it's awesome. So go ahead, feel free to go check them out. Now, but let's get on to the team building, shall we? So, first off, this is not any kind of special team. This isn't for any competitive use whatsoever. This is just a fun team that we can use on an anything goes battle. So, first things first, we're going to want to add our first Pokemon. Now, as I go through here, I'm going to choose Pokemon that represent certain Kaiju. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a Kaiju actually is, other than Pacific Rim, uh, it is basically Japanese for a giant monster, such as Godzilla, Mothra, of the kaiju from Pacific Rim work. So, this is just something um, that I'm going to be doing. These will be uh, sort of sporadic videos, um, but let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? So, for the first uh, kaiju Pokemon, I'm going to go with one of my favorite, you know, my favorite Pokemon of all time, good old Agron. Uh, you'll have to excuse me if my internet's a bit slow and if pop-ups pop up, I'm gonna have to get rid of those. But anyways, of course we're gonna go with Agron, my favorite Pokemon of all time. Um, let's go ahead. I am gonna make it a male. We're gonna leave it its normal color palette, no shiny. Um, its nickname, I'm not sure. We'll just call it Bigums. That, that's a Bigums. There we are. Of course, it's going to be Agron. Now, we're going to go ahead and make this our Mega. So, we're going to want Agronite. Very nice. Of course, it's... Um... Actually, if we're going to do this, we're just going to go ahead and make it Mega Agron. Wait, no. Agron Mega. Of course, it has Filter as its ability, which is very nice. Of course, it's going to be holding the Agronite. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, I know that Agron is actually based off of a real kaiju from like a real kaiju movie. Um, so, I don't exactly remember what its uh, name is going, what its name is. I didn't take the time. We're just going to go ahead and rename it Bigums. Bigums. Of course, its ability filter. Uh, I don't quite remember what filter does, but let's go ahead. Uh, with this Musa, I'm not a competitive team builder by any means, so for those of you out there who are, don't hate me. I'm just building these teams for fun. These are just themed. So, of course, you're probably going to want Heavy Slam. Uh, H. Where is Heavy Slam? Here. Hidden Power Steel. Just to steal. Where is it? Heavy, uh, he heavy slam. Why didn't it show up? Heavy slam, of course, because heavy slam is based upon uh, the user's weight. And Agron here is a huge Pokemon. It is going to weigh a lot. And of course, um, what else will it learn? Let's see. This thing is going to just hit hard. It's hugely specially defense, uh, hugely defensive. Not specially defensive at all, if you look at that. But let's go ahead. It's got that. We're gonna go ahead and give it Aqua Tail for coverage. Um, this thing is not gonna be moving fast at all. We could give it Blizz. No, instead of oh no, nah. Aqua Tail is a physical move, so definitely gonna want to go with Aqua Tail over Blizzard. Um, we could even... What? How does this thing learn Aerial Ace? Excuse me? <laughs> Shoot, pop-ups. Okay, so instead of, um, good old Aqua Tail, we're actually gonna go Aerial Ace for some apparent reason. Jeez, how does this thing learn Aerial Ace? Um, uh, I guess, yeah. 
Aerial Ace to take care of that huge four times fire. Not even four times, because it's just pure steel type. But you know, I imagine seeing a flying Agron as hilarious. So we're gonna go ahead. Uh, let's see, what else can we teach this thing here? Um, I'm not gonna teach it Head Smash because it loses its Rock Head ability. Even though Rock Head Smash is an incredible move. Um, let's see, what else can we teach it? We can teach it Iron Head. Go ahead and get some flinches in there. That's two Steel type moves. And of course, I like to be Quirk, you and I battle, so we can go Stone Edge. Uh, and try to get as many crits as possible. We are going to want a bulky physical sweeper, uh, as determined by um, Sm uh, as determined by Smilegun, I guess. It is going to be hugely defensive and massively offensive. Um, as you can see here, look at that defense stat. What is that? Oh my gosh! Anyway. So, of course, here we go. Mega Agron, bulky, already, physical. It's going to be adamant nature. Feel free to use this team if you guys want. I can't guarantee that you will win, but I can guarantee that you are going to have fun using these monstrous Pokemon. So now, next up on the list, we are going to go with Volcarona. For those of you who don't know, Volcarona, I find highly, highly, highly based off of Mothra from the Godzilla movies. A Volcarona is actually a really good Pokemon, and I am recently re I have recently been using uh, Volcarona on a team that I'm been do using on Battle Spot. Bleh. So we're gonna go ahead and name it Mothra. Oh, hold on, Mothra. Okay, S pardon me if I spelled that wrong. We're gonna go ahead and name it Mothra. Um, I'm not even sure what item I'm going to give this guy. I'm probably going to give it uh, the berry that reduces uh, rock type damage because we do not want this thing uh, getting absolutely wrecked by any kind of physical. Um, I think it is. What's his? Yeah, any physical rock moves. We don't want a Stone Edge happening to us, so. Um, we are going to see if we can find it. Here it is. Halves damage taken from rock, rock type attacks. Hidden ability, uh, or just flame body in general, will come in handy so much. I kid you not. Uh, I literally won specifically because <laughs> of, a, um, of the flame body in one match. So we are definitely going to be running with that. We are going to be running with Fiery Dance, wherever that is. Um, I know it's down here. Fiery Dance. This is 80 power. It's a special attack. Has a 50% chance to raise the special attack of a Pokemon, making this move incredibly useful. We're also going to want to run Quiver Dance. Uh, Q U. Sorry. Quiver Dance, of course. Quiver Dance is a very good move for Volcarona. If you're able to get first, get it off first, and then, you know, just, just destroy everything. Because it's going to raise our defense, special defense, and special attack. Um, another thing that would be very good is I didn't even know this Pokemon had Giga Drain. That's crazy enough. But we're going we're, we're gonna to want to run Incinerate. Um, Incinerate is a very good move because I know that there are a lot of people out there who love to run bulky Pokemon with uh, a berry on them. So if we can get a good switch in to Mothra here, Incinerate, take out a berry, uh, reduce the damage taken, you know, uh, get rid of any berries like this that'll reduce damage. That's going to be very fun, very nice to have. Um, let's take a look at what else we've got. So, hmm. I'm just looking through here. We could run a Tailwind. Tailwind could actually be very useful. Let's run Tailwind because a lot of the Pokemon we're going to be using on this team are very heavy, especially Bigums here. Uh, Bigums is a very slow Pokemon, and what Tailwind does is it speeds up your, po uh, your not your opponent's side, but your Pokemon uh, in a fast physical sw uh, special sweeper, I mean. So we're going to want an increased speed, uh, increased special defense, and hugely increased special attack. Um, give it a modest nature, as you can see here. I'm just taking what they give me. I don't know what would be best or not. 
Man, this music is good. <laughs> Feel free to go subscribe to these guys. What is it? Orange Juice Gaming. That is some pretty baller music. It's all royalty free. But I'm, I'm just I'm just letting you guys know because this is awesome. So now we have Mothra taken care of. We're going to run in with another one that I really, really like that I consider to be a very cool kaiju Pokemon. And that is going to be, uh, let's go Haxorus. Haxorus is a very good Pokemon, uh, even though it is in the UU tier. And we're going to name it Gigan after another Godzilla monster. I think that's how you spell it. I'm not entirely sure. Don't hate me. But we're going to run, um, considering this thing has huge attack, but very low defenses, um, we are going to want to make this thing pretty speedy. And I'm not too sure. We want this thing to set up, basically. This thing's job is to set up uh, and wreck everything physically. So we have a, a physical defender. Um, what is this? Uh, a special sweeper, a physical sweeper is what this guy is going to be. So we are going to give him, hmm, what is the thing that increases um, stab moves? Same type. Um, I'm not actually sure. Don't hate me because I don't know what every item does. Please. Here, we'll just give him the Dragon Fang for right now. Uh, rivalry, uh, same gender. Rivalry is an amazing ability. I kid you not. I actually have a, um, oh, I had, I planned on, uh, using a Nido King that had, um, the ability Rivalry. I didn't end up getting Sheer Force, which I was totally okay with, but Rivalry is a very good, uh, very good, uh, ability. Uh, while this Pokemon is active, prevents it using berries. We don't care about that. We have something for berries. So we're going to stick with rivalry. We're going to give this thing dual chop. I guess that's something else I should be doing is um, using moves that would make this Pokemon extremely kaiju-like, I guess I should say. So actually... Because we already have Heavy Slam, we don't need Iron Head, we're going to replace it and add Flamethrower. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I know that he has Doo Doo Special Attack, but come on. You have to admit, seeing this thing spew flames is horrifying. So, alright. Uh, Gigan. We were still working on Gigan here. Um... And, you know, of course, Gigan, I believe, is male. We're going to make him shiny just because shiny Haxor is, is absolutely horrifying, that entirely black thing. So, dual chop using those axes on the side of his head. We're going to want Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance. That way we can set up if need be and just ba, 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 ba. Um, what's another move? Dual chop, Dragon Dance. Um. I feel like this thing should have like a laser beam of some force, so we'll give him. Oh, I don't know. Now nah, we still want to win, so we're we're gonna we're gonna use his uh his powers, his physical attack to his advantage. Um, we could go outrage. That sounds like a pretty kaiju esque move. Lose all control. And in fact, if we are gonna use outrage, what is the berry that cures a uh, confusion? Oh well. Dragon Confusion. No? It's a, I know it's a berry. Um, where is it? <laughs> uh, steel type attack cannot be eaten. Has damage. Paralysis. Where is it? Has, 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 has. I'll be eating, restores, 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 uh, raises, hold on, I'm sorry I'm looking for this, this is taking a hot minute, good thing this is like a 30 minute track, um, where is it? So 
it's a holder. Holder wakes up from sleep. Holder is healed from uh, from freeze. Holder, holder, holder. We're looking for the holder. Holder gains the focus energy effect. Oh, okay. Oh, that's actually a really neat berry. So if it gets down low on health, but we are not looking for that. Holder! Accuse itself of confusion. That's what we're going to want. Lumberry. That's what it is. Anyway, so we can go straight for outrage if need be after that is taken care of. What else do we want? Um, this thing is weak to fairy type. So do we have... Uh, it has toxic. We cannot learn anything else. Uh, poison related. Uh, Iron Tail. Ah, it does learn Iron Tail. There we are. That way we can take care of fairies if need be. Uh, of course, we're going to want a fast physical sweeper, so we're going to boost its attack, boost its speed. Give it a bit of special defense to help take care of anything that might, you know, just wreck you instantly with an adamant nature. Okay, so now we've got the tank, the special sweeper, the physical sweeper, uh, the physical tank. So now what do we want? Now what do we want? I would go Groudon, but I don't want to use Ubers because Ubers is Ubers. So let's go ahead and look through here. And see what we can find. Oh, should I use Heatran? I love Heatran to death, and I think it would make an incredibly scary kaiju if it were real. So, but we already have a fire type, so no, we're not going to go with it. Mm, 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 mm. No, that's what we. Crawdon. Okay, Crawdon here. I just recently caught a shiny uh, uh, corefish. It's not over, is it? Of course it is. Sadly. Huh. Ah, oh, you serious? Okay. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, I was really upset. I was like, eh. Anyway, so that song's copyrighted. <laughs> Onward. <laughs> Sorry about that. We now have Crawdon. The, uh, I, I recently caught a shiny uh, corefish. It revolved it. Freaking Crawdon is amazing. I just now realize how amazing this Pokemon is. So, we are going to... Uh, let's check out its ability. Hyper Cutter prevents Pokemon from lowering the Pokemon's attack stat. That is crazy. Shell Armor prevents from crits. Uh, adaptability. Pokemon's same. Really? Oh, we're getting an adaptability. We're getting adaptability for stab. We're going Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet is a thing. Aqua Jet for sure. That way we get priority. We want um, Crab Hammer. High crit ratio. What else do we want? What else do we want? Coverage. Uh, can we get Earthquake? No, we cannot get Earthquake. Shoot. Um... I'm looking around here. Let's see what else can we have? knock off. Knock off is an incredibly useful move. Um, oh, do you learn guillotine? You learn guillotine? Oh no, wait. I saw. I saw guillotine. <sighs> do we do it? Do we run guillotine on this thing just to be super cheesy? Let's do it. Running guillotine, baby! Running guillotine, one hit KOs are 
a person's best friend, uh, bulky physical sweeper. Um, that way, you know, this thing has some pretty high defense. But we are definitely gonna. Ah, oh, dude, I not I know what to do. It's uh, isn't it a zoom lens? Accuracy of attacks uh, is 1.2 uh, after the target. Um, if it moves after its target. Well, that helps because Crawdon isn't very fast. Let me do some calcs real quick on my calculator. Whoo! <laughs> oh my gosh. Zoom lens guillotine. Give me a hot minute. Where is my calculator? So that's 30. Where? Oh, it's at the back. Sorry about this. Mid Midway calculation sets. It's a 36% chance of hitting. That's still not very high. But you know what? We're going to do it just because I'm cheeky. And I think Crawdunk could be... It would be amazing if Crawdunk just... Boom! Hit it with a guillotine. Out. Oh, that is awesome. So now we've got steel, fire, um, dragon, uh, bug fire, water dark. Let's see, what other Pokemon can we add? Uh, I'm not going to be adding Tyranitar, unfortunately, just because uh, we already have a fighting weakness. Uh, two fighting weaknesses, mind you. So let's take a look at what else... We have Garchomp, we already have, already have one Ice Weakness. We don't need that four times Ice Weakness. So let's go ahead. Oh, do we go? You know, in a lot, in a lot of Kaiju movies, there's almost always a giant robot, am I right? Magnezone, <laughs> type coverage. <laughs> uh, we're going to give this thing, let's see. Um, let's see, sturdy, uh, analytics, or analytic, uh, it's Pokemon's attack. If it is last to move, oh my gosh, yes. That is all, <laughs> dude, this thing, this thing. Um, we're gonna go ahead, your special attack is pretty high, as well as your special defense. So we are going to run. Let's give you Protect, just so you can live in case. Well, we, we can scout out if need be. Um, do you learn? We can give you Charge Beam to raise your special attack. And it, it makes sense because, you know, Laser Beam out of the eye. That's very... Uh, and then lowering special defense, just boom, lasers, lasers, out of all three eyes. We'll have a laser for all three eyes. Do you learn Tri-Attack? You learn Tri-Attack? Oh, I have to. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> just imagine this. Like, the middle eye protects the entire body. Uh, say, Mr. Righty over here shoots the charge beam, Lefty over here shoots the flash cannon, and then Tri-Attack from all three eyes. Are you serious? Ah, oh, yeah. Bulky. Bulky. Okay, and instead of negating his attack, we're gonna we're gonna have a negative speed nature just to take even more uh, advantage of that ability there. Oh, uh, this is this is fun. I like building these teams. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section below. I'm having a good time. I'm having a darn good time. So, do we make... What, what What do we give this guy? What do we give this guy? Do we want to give him... <sighs> you already have a Lumberry. We could give you something that increases your uh, attack. Um, or we could give you a berry. We, do we want to give him a berry? Let's see. Let's see. We give him a plate. Hmm. You give him a life orb for a bit more punch. Hmm. A 
trying to think. No, we'll just give him the zap plate. I'm not sure. I think it'd be a good thing for up, especially for charge beam. Give that a bit more punch. Uh, and yeah. And so, finally, we move on to our last Pokemon here. What do we do? Hmm. For our last Kaiju, we have two Steel types, so that's that's two big ground weaknesses. So, what about an Ice type? Ice type. Ice type. Ice type. What do we do? What do we do for an Ice type? That's not a real Pokemon. Cast from Snowy. That is not Kaiju. Um, we don't go Kiram. Could go Kiram, but how is Kiram white over here in Ubers and Kiram black in OU? I don't see how that's a thing. Um, I want to get a flying type. The only ice flying. Articuno. Oh, oh my gosh, why didn't I think of Avalug sooner? Why didn't I? Alright. That's it. We're going Avalug, dude. Avalug. That thing looks like a kaiju. That is a giant monster. If you've ever seen it, you don't want that thing barging through your city if it were like. 20 stories tall. I need some water. Give me one second. Mm -mm. Water. <laughs> okay. So this thing, definitely learning avalanche. Uh, do we want to learn? His attack is so much higher, so we're not going to teach him any special moves. Um, his own tempo. Ice body. Ah, oh, we. I don't think we don't teach him sturdy. We don't want. He's not getting ho code. Unless he's hit by a special move. So in that case, uh, sturdy action might be viable. Not be confused. Um. Yeah, screw it. We're gonna go sturdy. Um. Get that. Uh, what else do we teach him? There's avalanche for the ground types. Um, let's take a look at what other weaknesses we have. Ground, rock, fairy, and other dragon. We, so we've got dragon covered. Um, fighting. Um, do you want to teach him rapid spin in case of rocks? Do you learn uh, icy wind? You do learn ice ball. Oh, do we teach him ice ball? We teach him ice ball. I he could like bend backwards, I guess. But that that's pretty fun. Um, we got that. We can use roar just to roar people out. You know, giant kaiju roar, of course. Um, what else do we teach him? <laughs> he learns surf, of course. We always have to have one that comes from the ocean. Disguises. Yeah, I see this. I see this. A kaiju disguises itself as an iceberg. And then as it drifts towards land, it slowly comes up from the ocean, a bah, a bah, and starts freezing everything. We're teaching this thing surf. Of course, it's a bulky physical sweeper. Uh, its defenses are fine. We get a plus attack, plus HP. Naughty, na naughty nature. Ah, uh, dude, this thing is nuts. Ah, uh, that was awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here is our kaiju team. With Bigums, the Mega Agron, Mothra, the Volcarona, Gigan, the uh, Gigan, the and Mo Mothra is a female. We're just gonna go female. We don't go shiny. Mothra is red normally. Um, what about you? Mm, let's make you a male. You will be a male. 
So we got a male, female, male, male, and then the Avalok can be female. So let's uh, give you the nickname. Do we make you shiny? Nah, I like your normal color scheme. Uh, and we are going to name you... What's an awesome kaiju name? Kaiju name. Hmm. Snappin. We'll just call it Snappin. Snappin. And of course, we'll make you a female. What is your shiny form? Why does the sprite change? That's so weird. It's just the lighter blue, I guess. Which I'm totally cool with. Why does it change position, though? Alright, well... Uh, oh, oh, we didn't even give you an item! Alright, we gotta give you an item. I almost forgot. Um, I, I, I totally skipped over Magna Zone there. Um, you have Sturdy, so you don't need a Focus Sash. We don't want to give you a choice in case we need to use Roar. Um, I'm trying to think here. What do we give you? What do we give you? I'm looking around. There's the heavy ball. Yeah, buddy. That's that's useless. Hmm. We give it life orb? Nah, you're bulky though. We want you to stay around as long as possible. Let's give you a citrus berry. That way you can you can live a little longer. We're gonna name you Um Burgess. Beautiful name. Uh, and then finally, Magnezone. Of course, you cannot be male or female, so we'll just call you Mecha. Because there's always a Mecha. <laughs> uh, let's give you... Ah, I love shiny Ma Magnezone as well. If it would show up. Uh, Pop-ups. There it is, shiny Magnezone. Looking chrome as ever. So now we've got Bigums, Mothra, Kaigen, Snappin, Mecha, and Burgess. So, yeah! Alright, I want to thank all of you for watching this video just as the music ends. Uh, thank you all for watching this video if you did. I know it's a very long video. Um, I might use this team in a battle. Who knows? Uh, on the channel. We might uh, go on here. I uh, use this website to go and battle someone. So, yeah. Uh, without any further ado, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>